what we know is that one, one swarm of locals actually have about 40 to 80 million of those locals. And this is almost about one kilometer square. And in a day, they can actually destroy food that can feed up to about 35,000 people. And that means that if you put this at the level of a farmer, a farmer, locals can eat an entire area that is owned by one farmer between morning and in the afternoon, and that will depreciate the livelihood of that farmer for the entire year. So the impact of this is quite very huge, and it is projected to increase uh, with the latest scientific figures that we see. The changing climate is creating an enabling environment for locals to strive. What we know from science is that the Indian Ocean has been warming for the past 100 years. And in October to December of last year, the Indian Ocean Dipole, which is that a phenomenon that comes as a result of the warming of the Indian Ocean, deposited water inland in the East African region that was more than 400% the normal rainfall that happens in the region. And what the science is telling us is that these create a breeding ground because in semi-arid areas then because of the rain, the vegetation increases. So climate change is actually impacting in this. And just to put it in perspective, as we're speaking today, 20 of the fastest warming countries in the entire world are in the African continent. If the emissions are not reduced, these episodes that we're seeing, especially with the um, adverse of these locals, will continue. When you look from a policy perspective, over 51 African countries have ratified their Paris Climate Change Agreement. That means that Africa is actually a leader when it comes to climate change action. But what needs to be done now is to turn those policies into action. And therefore, every solution that can then be able to build resilience becomes quite very important. And what is more important is to leverage climate action as an investment opportunity. And engaging the youth becomes quite a greater opportunity because they constitute over 60% of the population. And if they can be made to see climate action as an investment opportunity, that will be brought to scale very quickly, but more from an enterprising perspective that will be more sustainable.